So it actually lets you... You can change course if you want voluntarily. Oh, and you can retry it if you yes. want to go back for the... For, that, the, for the metal. Yeah. That is so nice, because you could not do that in the SNES Now, one. the problem with that, though, it's not too bad on Canary, on Corneria, because you normally start with basic lasers anyway, but if you lose an R-Wing, if you die or lose an R-Wing for any reason, you respawn with basic lasers. You yeah. Lose any upgrades. Right. So it's like shmup rules, where if, yep. you, if you die, you, can, you come back, but... You're basic. Yeah. <laughs> Was a thing with Shpops, man. Like you just can't lose. Yeah. Or that's how I have to play them because I'm not great at them. Mm. Yeah, there are, some of my favorites don't have that. Um, one of the Darius games, maybe Darius Twin for um, SNES, doesn't have that. There are a and couple then, that like set you back a level. Yeah. Like it, like you your your cannons will have like five upgrade tiers and like you only lose one if you die. And like, and I'm okay with that. Like there there should be a penalty. But don't take me from God tier back to, to basic boy trying yeah. to trying to blow up a rock and you just, you don't have the damage output to succeed anyway. So it's just, that, that's the part that always got me, I guess, is that you get to the end of the game and then you, you get nothing and you're not going to beat it anyways. So what's the point of right? Yeah. My favorite tier was always Tyrion. That one is absolutely no punishment for dying. You just go back and start level. That was nice. Very nice. Um, but that one's got some like RPG elements anyway. You collect like currency going through the levels, and then between stages you can use that money to rekit your ship or buy different front weapons, back weapons. Okay. Yeah. That's a gem of the game. That was like when Epic was still here in Maryland before they moved to the Carolinas. Before I'm Fair. Hold them. They're trying to get through. Oh, the upper. Room. Yes. Could you go lower? I don't know. I can't remember. I was lower. Taking the high road, I see. I always take that. Right. Go. Get the Keep up the life bar. And how many times can you expand it? Just once. Oh, okay. Any other time afterwards, you just get a one up. The enemy's coming yep. from behind. Hey yo. What's the number? Is that the ship's destroyed? Yep. Okay. And I think you, know, I you th were ducking these guys pretty severely. I love it. I don't have any bombs, so I can nice. As a thing, so I just tend to go through my bombs a little quicker than I need mean to. How dare you? I know. <laughs> it's just funny because that's like so. I feel like hey, way more people side. have I'm the overly conservative. I, I'm the overly conservative. Normally I am too, but these guys, this level has so many tiny guys that it's hard to get in. To get a lot of like hit by five. Right, it, but it's it's hard to get them in clusters to to lock on. I'll tell you though, playing MMOs changed that about me. Because I used to be like, like you know, the, the meme of like, 77 elixirs, what if I need them for the final boss? Yeah, right. You know, kind of, I, I was that meme in like form. But playing MMOs changed it about me, man. Because like, you have all these skills and you're trying to keep them on cooldown at all times. So it's just like, you've got the resources yeah. to use it. Smoke them if you got them. Yeah, right. The, I mean, the, the required optimization yeah. is so yeah. much higher. Down with one shot. Yeah, and, and it comes Jesus. to a point where like, Whoa. like for me, We're it's kind of like it's harder to play too. at like a lower level, like to, to not time. use those resources now. But you know, the flip side of that is I get mad when other people don't. <laughs> 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 like anyone who plays Final Fantasy XIV knows that like. Some of the player base, man, they're just, uh, they're there for the for the spectacle, they are not there to game. Which, you know, that's fine to each their own. Exactly. But if you show up in my dungeon <laughs> and try to pull one monster at a time, All range mode. get out. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All range mode. All range mode, so you got a big old map now. It's open, Ooh. open area. You got two flying annoying dudes. Yeah, this is the first... Up here. Yep. I like oh. that. All right, transformer. Calm so down. I need to stop running into enemies because if you, I think if you 
Oh, oh my teammate took him out. That's a wow. first. Let's go. They did something. Um, if you break, a, so if you if you run into obstacles enough, you'll break a wing. If you break a wing, you lose all your laser upgrades. Oh, bummer. And yeah. Your mobility is yes. Yeah. No, let's not have that. You can get it back. Oh my god. Oh, I you saw that flash. Yeah, yeah, you see that flash. That's no bueno. Where is this guy? Like, it's so hard to see this guy against the sky map. Alright. So it's time, right. it's time to party. Don't party just yet. Uh, but it's time to party. It's time just said. to party. I like the catapult it's there. Time. Yeah, right? Time. <laughs> time to eat Uppies, uppies. Where is he at? Here he is. Oh, uh, this this is where the game would be, be a struggle for me. I am not good at this kind this, of combat. Their movement is so unpredictable. It's really like you have to get like a lucky. Ooh, you have to get some good RNG for your movement sometimes. I feel. Yeah, like um, is that a B on the mini map? That's a big old B for the boss. Okay. B is for. It, it, it looks like a D. Yes, it's missing a part of its upper. Screen. Oh no! Okay, I thought Le left wing. We're okay. Okay, we're gonna back to a safe distance. Like, this movement is, like, brutal. Yeah, I think this guy's moving. moving there we, there go. we go. Alright, alright, alright. I got a big chunk. Yeah. He'll eventually cool. land on the ship also, which is nice of him. Shoot, I'm damage. Real accommodating. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, like I enjoy combat modes like that. Like I used to play a lot of like the, the Ace Combat games. Oh, like, those are so good. But I'm not good at them. No. I just enjoy playing. Yes. <laughs> Especially for the plot. <laughs> Especially for the uh, I unlocked the A tens. So now I just get to be a tank with wings. <laughs> <laughs> just a cannon We're with wings. Report in. Oh yeah, we got uh, there you the go. water level coming up. This sucks. We've been talking about everything but this game. Why are we even out here? Um, because they were under attack and the general was like, Help us, Starbucks! I see. Yeah. We just go where he tells us. Second verse, same as the first. Yeah. Canaria under attack from Andros's forces. And they're on Sector... What was it? Sector Y? Sector X? It's... Are we their military, or...? Sector Y. Sector Y. Now we're contractors. <laughs> we're contractors? No! 100%! Yeah, they are. Like... Yo! Hey. Let's go! I don't think I've ever gotten that medal, I'm even on like my home system. Um, um no, he's, he's dead serious. You're you're Blackwater. You send them, a, you give them a bill at the end of the game. Based on like how well you do, there's like a services rendered <laughs> bill that, wow. you, <laughs> that you give uh, General Pepper. <laughs> You saved those Star Fox. Oh, All right, pay up. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the invoice. Dude, that's... Yes, sir. I was going to you know, say that's kind of mercenary, but oh, well, here you go. <laughs> All right, now we get to see another uh, variant here. Yeah, no more R-Wings. We got the uh, the Blue Marine is what they call it. This is the worst Loch Ness monster I've ever seen. <laughs> or the best, I guess, depending on who you ask. Or how many Loch Ness monsters you've seen. That's true. I've only seen like a tenth of one. Uh, it's a shame Aaron isn't here. He lost one, fish. Would, would have been her favorite part of the game. <laughs> oh, say goodbye to your frame rate. Water level, water level, water yeah. level. I th th this was like the era of games where every game had a water level. You have to have a water level. And none of them were optimized. No. Like, not even close. Literally every game, you're just like. So Mega Man Legends 2 has a water level, and oh my god, is it rough to get through. It's like it's a well-conceived dungeon, but it is just a miserable experience to try to go through it casually. Like if you don't know exactly where you're going to make it fast, it sucks. I'm not a fan of that mechanic. Um, this is one of those things that like I bet it ran a lot better on the developer workstation <laughs> than it did this year. <clears throat> I was going to say, they, they, they shouldn't have gone with Philips Magnavox, but you know. Fair. But, but, it, but it wasn't much better on the on Sony anyways. I mean, honestly, for straight 3D rendering, I guess, the N64's hardware, especially the co-processors, are a little bit better. Uh-huh. It just, some of it was like textures 
Mm. God, they're so muddy on the N64. Oh, yeah. It's like, four kilobytes? I mean, there's only so much you can do with a cartridge. Yeah. Right. Big Eel says what's up. Yeah, Big Eel's pretty good. Big Eel wow. gives you three hit points. Nice. Instead of one. Beautiful. Like that gives you credit for three kills in one. Yeah, this... What, what's the special objective here? No special objective. Just get through it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They, they knew it was a water <laughs> They <level>. knew! <laughs> <laughs> like, alright, you know what? Just just get through it. Just make it. Just do it. This thing will never hold again. Um, Give me the medal at the end. Yeah, you beat the level. Here's some stuff. But yeah, the... Um, the the big mechanic of this... Boat, the, the Blue Marine, um, is... It's got unlimited torpedoes that lock on automatically. So the lasers don't lock. You don't have a charge. You don't have a charge lock for the lasers like you do with the R-Wing. Okay. These guys... Right, Dude, this is so much here. stuff on the screen right like, now. Like, look, at, like, look at the frame rate. Yeah, oh yeah. Nintendo it's... refers to this as full of time. <laughs> Get that checkpoint. Get that health. Yes, please. Oh, since we're underwater, can we see the Nintendo seal of approval? What? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was kind of adorable. Thank you. Look out behind you! <laughs> Is it the seal? I think it's the eel. <laughs> it might be the eel. Oh, Here he comes! It's the eel! Oh, <laughs> the oh no, never mind. Oh, it's a, a, another angler. angler. Yeah. It'd be amazing if, like, the uh, the dire, dire docks. Or was it, was it that, what, the eel from Mario 64? I think that was in the Dire Dire Docks. I think it was. If that eel made a cameo. The dire Docks was actually dope. a pretty big level, wasn't it? Great song, too. Everyone loves Dire Dire Docks. Man, it was so... so at a, at MAGFest, I was so glad when uh, Brenta Floss played his... Um, he wrote a song called the 2-2 Blues, I think is what he called it. Mm. It's, the, it's the Mario underwater, like the Mario yeah. 1 underwater theme, but like he wrote a kind of like pained love song about it. <laughs> and I've, I, that's always been one of my favorite songs he ever uh, did. Like even in the midst of his uh, But With Lyrics fame, yeah. like he released that and I'm like, huh, he's actually a pretty solid musician. <laughs> this part sucks. I never understood how to get past it without taking damage like that. Never understood. I don't, know. I don't know how you see anything down here. You pray. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to die in this freaking recording. Give me. I, th I mean, I think if you're going to do life. it anywhere, this is the acceptable place I to Sure. Bio I just refuse to. I admire the gusto. Alright, well, we're at the boss, so. There's not like a button you can press to turn on a flashlight or something? Nope. Never it all went into the torpedoes. Oh, no. Clam! Clam! Big old bioweapon clam. Alright, so this guy's got three little turrets at the top that spawn snakes. So I need to kill the turrets first. Aim for the two column. No, I'm aiming for the turrets. Stay in your lane, buddy. <laughs> Why don't you aim for the two columns? Seriously, how about you get down here, huh? Why don't you let me take care of this boss? Oh. Okay, okay. We got literally one HP here. Yeah. Alright, so this guy's got two columns we have to break. Fire a homing torpedo! Do what he says, what he says and miss it. Oh, that's, okay, so the uh, the early level with all the, the, the passing columns sort of trains you for this right, yeah, particular yeah. mechanic. That's that's a good one, actually. I never really picked up on that. Hey! I mean, this is a pretty frenetic level, so yes. picking up on the sort of subtle design aspect that's is fair. not something that you would be doing in the Especially midst of... That's a very good point. Hit. Yes. Like, wow, you know what? Alright. Now, I think at this stage... So I have to shoot this little mass in the center. And... Time it so the missile hits when it drops down, because it eventually comes back and the missile can hit these little pearls as well, which get in the way. Health! 
Yo, let's go. Let's go. Woo. I can actually see the smoke coming off the controller. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. I didn't even want to talk because I wanted that to come through the audio, just slamming the buttons. We're preparing the dock. We're preparing the dock. Mission. Hey. Thanks, Flip. Blue Marine came through. Just barely. <laughs> just hobbles, hobbles back to the ship. Yeah, they kind of they kind of roast him here. I'll take the sky any day. Sheesh, Falco, you too. Sheesh. Like, what do you mean you too? Like, he's like the most pessimistic person on the team. Like, you should just be like, yeah, that sounds about right. You get an extra life every 100 accumulated kills. Okay. Oof. I'm not right. even playing that, uh... Right? I'm tired. Heartbreak yeah. settling down.